Greetings, our friends. How are you today? You know, as I look into God's Word, I look into Proverbs, and as pastors, we are told and instructed that we are to have our families in order, our children, our wife, ourselves, our relationship. And, uh, you know, in Proverbs chapter 27, there's a, a very familiar verse. As iron sharpens iron, so a man sharpens the countenance of his friend. You know, one of the interesting things about us as pastors is that, that it is said that 70% that of us do not have a close, trusted friend. And as pastors, we need to learn how to make friends and more importantly, to be a friend. And how can we preach and teach the love of the Father when we don't trust anyone. We don't trust each other. Today I would like to ask you to, to pray about it, about getting into a relationship with a few good men. And women need to get into a relationship with a few good women that they can trust. When I say a few, uh, at All Pro Pastors, we have the champion tables. And the champion table is where four of us come together and we pour our hearts out to one another. And it takes time to do that, but we hold each other accountable. We hold each other to a higher level of expectation. But at the same time, we laugh together. We love one another. We have fun. We enjoy. We, uh, we make a lot of noise sometimes where people, even where we are, look and wonder how in the world are those guys having fun. And yet there are differences. We have black with white. We have Methodist with Baptist with Assemblies of God with non-denomination. We have one tribe with another tribe. And we love one another. But more importantly than that, if there can be something more important about relationship, you have to like one another. And that's the beauty of coming together as a champion table. You learn to like one another. We have seen where pastors of different denominations and colors and tribes have done things together, bringing their whole churches together because it's about the kingdom. You see, when we as men of God can come together and develop real trust for one another, real friendship, we realize that the body, the differences are what make us strong. It is the differences in the body that help us to be complete. The hand is different than the foot. Well, the Baptist is different than the Assemblies of God, which is different than the Methodists, which is different than the Presbyterians. And when we can learn not to fight over the differences, but to go against the enemy, which is Satan himself and the spiritual wickedness in high places and this flesh that we struggle with, boy, when we get this flesh where it is under subjection, when I say under subjection, when we are disciples of Jesus, we can really call ourselves champions and real warriors for Jesus. You know, I believe this, and I know it is true because it's in the Word, that if we don't have that relationship right at home with our wife and with our children, we're not being as effective as we need to be as men of God. You know, that is where it starts. My ministry is first with my wife, then with my children, because I have got to set the standard. I know that people look at my life and they expect me to be at a higher level of how I live. And I embrace that. I don't shy away from it. Because if you are put into a position of pastor or bishop or some other title of expectation or within the fivefold ministries of the Word of God, you are assigned to to an expectation that people look to you to embrace, not shy away from. The champion table is a place where you can come and be encouraged. And when you feel weak in an area, you can have someone to pick you up and strengthen you. You can even complain at the champion table. But the beauty of it again is that you can talk to the other brothers about the differences to understand. You know, one thing that I have learned of the many things I have learned is this. If I want to learn about carpentry, I don't go to a plumber. If I want to learn about putting on a roof, I don't go to a baker. If I want to know about how to hunt, I don't go to someone who is a fisherman. I want to learn from someone who is experiencing and doing it. 
It's the same way with the gifts of the Spirit. It's the same way with the different doctrines that are out there. If I want to learn why the differences are there, I want to go to someone who is embracing those differences so I can understand where they are and also hear their heart to know that they serve the same Jesus and He is their Lord just like He's my Lord. A lot of times we say we have the answer and they don't have the answer. The truth is, is that when we have the answer, we have to show the grace and the tenderness to those who we may believe don't have the answer. Rather than being critical, we need to love them, befriend them, encourage them, and perhaps you may learn that they have something that you never thought of. And they may learn something from you that they have never thought of. Today I pray that as you see this message that you will share it with others and that you will embrace that our differences are what makes the body whole. It's not what causes division. And embrace coming together. Em embrace your brother. Love your brother. Seek out your brother who is different so the body can move as a body against the fierce enemy that is destroying so many lives. Let's bring the kingdom together as we're commanded and expected to do. We at All Pro Pastors, we love you. We pray for you. We pray that you will be strong in the Lord and in the power of His might and that you'll tell your wife today how much you love and appreciate her. And if you're not praying with her every single day, I challenge you to start praying with your wife every single day. And when that unity of coming together takes place, you will see more miracles happen in your life, in your family, in your ministry than you ever have before. God bless you.